Nani. Oh. Hello everyone, welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be making first person movement in Unity. First person movement is a component a lot of shooter games have and it is something that will be pretty easy to make. Let's first start by creating the player and the ground. We can't make first person movement if we don't have the player. So let's right click, go to 3D object and create a plane. And I'm going to click on my game view here so I can see what we're looking at. Then the ground is on this random place right here. So we'll reset it by clicking on the position right here, typing in zero, zero, and zero. And now it should be right under the camera. And another easy way for resetting the position is clicking on these three dots and press reset. Now let's create the player. I'm going to right click again, go to 3D object and create maybe capsule you could use any model you wanted, but for now, I'm just going to use this capsule. And I'll click on the three dots, press reset, and the player moves inside of the ground, which we do not want because the player might fall through the ground and into space right there. So I'm going to set the position on the Y to 1, and now our player is out of the ground, standing pretty crisply on top of it. Nice. Good. We'll also want the camera to move along with the player, so wherever the player goes, the camera will follow. And the way we can do that without having to write any code at all is just parenting the camera to the player by dragging it and snapping it into the capsule game object. We want the camera to be looking from the player's point of view. I'm going to click on these three dots and press reset. And now our camera is in the middle of the player, probably where the stomach would be. I think I'm going to move it up a little bit. So we're looking out from the character where his eyes would be. I'm just going to add eyes real quick. Yeah, so now our player has eyes, so we know which direction it's pointing in. That kind of looks creepy, actually. So you'll see that the eyes are getting in the way of the camera. So I'm going to move the camera a little bit forward by dragging this blue arrow. And the eyes kind of move out of the way there. Now, let's rename the capsule. I'm going to click on it, call it player. So that way we know which game object is the player. And I'm going to click on the plane and call this one ground. I also want the player to be a different color than the ground, so it'll be easier to see the player. So let's right click here in the project, go to create, and click on material. I'm just going to call this player. And I'm going to choose a color I want by clicking on this picker right here. Maybe a purple color. Now let's drag the material onto the player and it turns purple. I think I'll make the eyes purple too by dragging it onto them. Okay, now we have our purple player and now we need a way to move it around. I'm going to click on the player and press add component. And I'm going to search for character controller and press enter. So the character controller is basically a component that handles all the physics a character would need. and it pretty, it pretty much takes away most of the work we need to do when programming the movement. So this makes it pretty easy. So it makes it pretty easy if you're a beginner like me. Let's press add components. And we need a component. And we need a script to control the character controller. So maybe character controller controller. New script and press create and add. And once that loads, I'm going to double click on it. Okay, our script is loaded. I think we're first going to make the player be able to look around. So yeah, so that will be pretty easy to do. We need to be able to control the camera. So let's type public transform camera. We will be able to control 
the transform component here. Let's also make another variable, public float called camera rotation. And let's click on the update function. We first need to be able to detect the movement of the mouse. Float mouse x equals, and I'll use a variable that has the movement of the mouse already, which is input dot get access mouse x. That variable stores the position of the mouse on the horizontal axis, which is left and right, for the movement of the mouse up and down. So float mouse y equals input dot get access mouse y. And now we have those variables, we need to rotate the camera around to them. So let's type camera rotation minus equals mouse y. So we'll rotate the camera up and down depending on the movement of the mouse up and down. So we'll just subtract the movement of the mouse up and down from the camera rotation every frame. And now that we've done that, we can move the camera and set the rotation to camera rotation, if that makes any sense at all. So camera equals, so camera dot rotation, whatever that is, dot whatever that is. I don't know how to pronounce them. If you know how to do it, just leave a comment down below. And you'll see that this takes a vector three for the first variable, type in camera rotation. For the second one, type zero and for the third, type zero. So that script right here will control the rotation of the camera. I'm gonna press save, go back to Unity, and let's press the play button. Yes, so we get an error. This, maybe this is the first error message you've got in Unity, and, and I promise you, you'll be getting a lot more error messages like this. So the reason we're getting this error is you'll see down here, it says the variable camera of ca character controller controller has not been assigned. So we'll click on the player over here. You'll see that where it says camera, it also says none transform, which is because we haven't told the character controller controller, the character controller, the controller that controls the character controller doesn't know what the controller which is which controls the character controller what the camera is but we know what it is it's this main camera over here so i'm just going to drag and drop it into the slot and now you'll see it says camera main camera transform let's press play and i'm going to move my mouse up and down and you'll see now it's rotating with the mouse next we want to be able to look left and right and i think Instead of rotating just the camera left and right, we will rotate the player left and right. So you'll see the whole player rotate around with the mouse. So you'll see which direction the player is facing in. So let's type transform dot rotate vector three dot up times mouse x, which is the movement for the, to the left and right. And also, before we save the script, let's type in here, instead of camera.rotation, let's type camera.localRotation, which is the rotation of the transform relative to the transform rotation of the parent. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, that's life. So let's press play. And great, we can now look around wherever we want. You'll see that if I move my mouse around, if I want to look all the way to the left, I have to move my mouse all the way off the screen. We can fix this by typing cursor lock state equals cursor lock mode dot locked. So that will just make the cursor stay in the center of the screen. And let's also type cursor dot visible equals false. So try to take a guess at what this little line does. Let's save it and go back to Unity. Press play. And now our cursor just disappeared, but we can also move around without having to worry about where we're clicking. 
but don't worry if your mouse disappeared. To make it visible, just press escape on your keyboard and make sure to smash the subscribe button. In the next tutorial, we'll be making the player move around just like in a real game. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in part two. Nick,